thank you for tuning in to the Royal Chinchillas YouTube channel once again. Um, today we are going to uh, have a grooming demonstration on a long furred Angora. So this Angora is going to be a G3 Angora. Um, a few episodes ago we had a short haired chinchilla, a standard that we showed you how to groom. And grooming Angoras is quite different um, than, than grooming short hair. So I have a lot less tools than I had in the last video. Um, all I'll pretty much be using today is a number four comb, the hacksaw blade that we used in the last video, and scissors if need be, but likely not. The only time you would need scissors is if you noticed any type of yellowing in the tip of the tail. You would want to just trim the very tips off um, because angoras are known for their wispy tails. You don't want to trim. Um, you don't want to trim it if you don't have to. I also have a number, number five comb. And this comb is really um, useful if you find mats, uh, small little mats in the fur, to help kind of comb it out without pulling all of the fur out. And then lastly, we have the lint roller that we used last time um, and our lap mat. So with that, let's get started. All right, so this is our little guy that's gonna help us out with our grooming demonstration today. He's a nine month old, uh, Angora. He's a G3 already. He's got very, very long fur. He's very uh, antsy right now. So he's never been groomed before, so I'm not really sure what we're going to run into when we, when we do this. So um, let's just get going and see how this goes. Okay, buddy. So I always start with the face. He's going to be a good one because he's kind of squirmy. I always start with the face because I typically have to do the face twice because they don't like it um, when, very much when you groom the face. So I do a little bit now and a little bit later. So I'm just going to comb through here. Come on, buddy. Make sure that when you're doing the face, you keep this part where his eye is so that you don't accidentally poke his eye. Hi. So we're just gonna comb up. He is not cooperating. Hey. Hey. Okay, there we go. So back to the face. side just combing from his eye with this part of the comb I'm combing back just the face we're gonna get the mane in a moment now we're gonna do his back and we're gonna go from the very end of the tail you can see back here and we're gonna just start working our way up to the head and he's pretty tangled back here. He's just got lots of itty bitty just um, spots where the fur is kind of tangled up. So I am going to use the number five comb. And when you, when you start hitting little itty bitty mats like this, you want to start at the very top of the fur. One thing to know about grooming is you have to be patient. You just got to kind of work with them. All right. We're just going to let him chill out for a minute. Okay. So now we're going to work at the top of the fur, and then we'll go all the way across the back. And then when we get to the mane, we'll go back and then start combing a little bit deeper. This is going to require some patience. Like I said, he's never been groomed before, so he has a lot of little spots. And he's very anxious. So now we're going to go back and get a little bit deeper into the fur. Hitting a little bit of resistance because I think there's a little... There we go. 
And then just keep the comb clean. Now we're going to get a little bit deeper into the fur. Oh my. Okay. There's a little, as you can see, there's a little piece of fur that got tangled up in there. You don't go slow and, and just slowly work through it. You'll pull out big chunks of fur because his fur is so, so long. If he lays on his back or if he does anything like that, it will tangle it up. Make sure when you're grooming them, you hold them nice and firm by the, the base of the tail and then just kind of scoot them around by their belly. We're slowly working through this, the very top. There we go. Now we're making it. Make sure you don't go too deep because these are very sharp. Oh man, he's got a lot of fur. So once you can get through from the tail, see if I can get my helper over here to grab me a kiwi stick so we can maybe get him occupied. Okay. So we're just going to keep doing this until the comb runs nice and smooth and then we'll go back to our number four comb. Oh my, look at that fro you got going there, buddy. Okay, let's see if he'll want a kiwi stick. Okay, he's going to play the pickup game. Hold on, buddy, I'll get that for you in a moment. Okay. I can already see the fur on his back starting to smooth out. It was really rough before. All right, here you go. Little stick. Yeah, go for it. Back you go. <laughs> oh, he's going to have fun with this. Lots of fur flying around here. Okay, now it's going through pretty smoothly. Another little spot right here I'm trying to get out. The rest is pretty good on the, on the top. I'm guessing this guy's probably been laying on his back. Okay, little bit the fur pulled out there, that's okay. Okay, it's looking good. Alright, so now that the back is combed out, we're going to just move to the left, just to the left of the back. And we're going to do the same thing. going a little smoother. I'm just going to stay with the number five comb for now. I'll probably bring the four back once we make it all the way through the back. So just slow, easy strokes. Don't force anything. If you hit resistance, then go further up towards the surface of his fur. Be 
because you don't want to pull out big chunks of fur if you hit little mats, like here's an itty bitty mat, little tiny mat, we'll just, but if you start yanking on it, you'll pull large chunks of fur out. So just patience, slowly work through. Okay, we're gonna stop at the mane. Now we're gonna go, so we've done the back straight down the back. We've done a pass to the left of that back of the back and now we're going to do a pass to the right. We're going to do this the sides and the hips totally different than we're doing this. So just a pass down the middle, a pass to the left and then now we're doing the pass to the right and then we're going to comb differently. So we'll just get through here. Should have got a garbage. Always want to have a garbage can. Be prepared to get lots of fur up your nose. You could probably wear a mask. We're just gonna keep working the little bits of fur out. Okay, so stop at the main. I'm going to do one pass a little bit deeper into the fur. If you have Angoras that have G3 really long fur like this, it's important to, to comb them every three, probably three months, um, especially if they're um, on shavings and your shavings, the, the, um, the coarseness of your shavings are small, what happens is they get down in there and then the fur traps the shavings inside and you'll get really, really bad mats. So it's, it's important to dust frequently and, and comb frequently to make sure that they don't get big mats. Okay, so now we're going to do all of this is done. We did a pass down the middle, up to the main, a pass to the left, and we've done a pass to the right. Now from where we left off here, we're gonna go straight down. You wanna follow the direction of the fur so that you don't pull live fur out. So we're just gonna keep gently pulling down. I also, I feel some resistance in here, so I think there's some little itty bitty mats in here as well. Kind of just loosen them up a little bit here. We've got very, very long fur. This is his fur. So we don't want to pull that out. So we're just very lightly at the surface, pulling straight down from where from the pass that we made on the back. So we're just going to keep pulling down until it goes nice and smooth. I'm going to use this lint roller on me. It's got multiple multiple purposes. Starting to become a white chinchilla myself. This guy's got so much fur. Hey, come here. Play with your stick. Here, play with your stick. Here. Not my thumb. There you go. Play with your stick. All right. And the comb and the stick. Okay, so we're back combing down. Most chinchillas don't like being combed, so he's a good example of just staying patient, taking breaks if he needs them. Right now, it looks like we're making him flat and ugly, but I promise you when we're done, he'll look beautiful. But we want to continue to go down with the, that's with the direction of the fur until we have no resistance. He's already starting to look so much better. Fill any mat 
gets in there, he feels nice and smooth. So I'm just gonna finish getting this loose fur out of here. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. I know, he's not very happy with me right now. Come on, come back here. Just relax. There we go. Use the lint roller to wipe off the fuzz off of the comb. All right, it's going through really nice. And he's looking really smooth. So still lots of loose fur, don't worry about that. We're gonna get that in a minute. So now we're gonna get the other side. Just gonna comb down the direction of the fur, straight down. Being a good boy. He's helping us out by giving us the side we need. This guy has really dense fur too, which is why I think it's taking a lot longer than many angoras do not have density like this. He's a very, very beautiful chinchilla. All right, so back down. He's getting pretty. Got some rough spots on his little rear end back here, so I'm just gonna work those out, but his side's pretty good. I'm still using the number five just because he has so much fur. I don't want to pull anything out by using the number four. Typically when I groom my Angoras, I only ever use the number four, but I always have the number five handy in case I run into a very woolly mammoth like this guy. Yeah, he has phenomenally dense fur back here. Quite nice. Very long, all throughout. Just about got it. Let's reach around the back here. Okay, I feel pretty good. So we got the majority of the dead fur out of this guy. Now he's just got this live, vibrant, strong fur left behind in a giant mess everywhere. Um, so now we're gonna work on the mane. I'm gonna keep the five. Now we're just gonna go up to the mane and we're just gonna just start at the very back. Just a little bit at a time. Don't try and get it all. If they have a big mane like this, don't, don't try and um, comb it all in one time because you will pull chunks out. So we're just slowly combing. This big furry mane. He was on shaving, so I'm actually starting to see little pieces of shavings in his in his mane come out.
can actually pull when you get through the first layer you can just pull it back see that's nice going through nice and smooth so now we're going to go to the next layer never thought I would be a hairdresser but this guy's got a lot of hair we could give him nice little cute braids they're going through nice and smooth now. So we'll pull more back. And work on the front. You just keep working a little bit at a time so that you don't pull any chunks of fur out. He's got a little Matt deep down in there. So if you find a mat like that, just slowly like you use your comb like a pick, like a hair pick, and just try and loosen up the little bit of knotted fur in there. He's calmed down a lot. He realizes it probably feels pretty good to get his hair all combed out, his little mat's gone, he's feeling pretty good. and keep your comb clean so that you don't have resistance from the hair getting caught up in the, the new hair. His tufts are starting to come out. So now we're going to comb his face. So I normally like to pull this back so I can see his little eyeballs. And then I just start at the nose and I kind of like to let him see me so he doesn't get scared. Hi buddy. And then gentle, so gentle. And you'll hit a little bit of resistance and then just, I think he kind of like starting to like this. He's definitely calmed down. Oh buddy. Keep going until you get it nice and smooth. Okay. Now we're going to work on the, we got a little tuft here. Yeah, that's good. So now we're going to work on these little, these little um, side lion's mane. So we just pull it straight down like we did all down the sides. He doesn't like, see, he doesn't like when we get close to his face. So we'll just make sure he can see us. So he's not so scared because he's like, what is this thing coming in my face? He's like, oh, I see my mom. It's okay. Now he kind of likes it. So we just want to comb the face, make sure that you keep the wood part up against his eye. Well, because that's why too, he'll bite it and that's okay. That's why it's wood. I know, I know, oh, I know you don't like that. Okay, okay, we'll, we'll be done with that side. Come here. Now we're gonna do the other side, hopefully, if he'll let us. Kinda just wanna get his little cheek. Yeah, he doesn't like the comb at all near his face. It's okay, it's okay. Yep, keep your, okay. Where's that stick? Let's see if I can distract him with a stick. Here. Want your stick? Want your kiwi stick? Come here. Yeah, I know. It's okay, hey. Can't see me with all that hair in your face. I know. 
Just be slow and patient. Okay, okay. We're going to be done with your face. So now we're just going to do his side mane on this side. We're going to leave his face alone because he hates it. Realistically with Angoras, I mean, if you can fluff up their face, it just makes them a little cuter, but it's not necessary for like health reasons. There's no mats in his face. There's no reason to need to comb it, so we'll leave it alone. So the mane is nice and um, smooth for the most part. One more little hang up here. What's going on here? Oh, he's got a, a little bit of shaving stuck in one of his tufts right here. So we're just going to work that last little bit out. Slowly work through it. There it's coming out. good okay now he's completely smooth now he's just got a bunch of loose fur sitting everywhere so now I'm done with the done with the um, number five comb I got to get rid of I have half a chinchilla on this lint roller so we are going to pull this off And now I've got the number four. So we're just going to go through what we did just really, really quickly. He should be nice and smooth now. For the most part, he is. So we're just going to go down the back. It's good. Down the back. This helps just pull all that loose fur off the top with the number four. Okay. So now what we're going to do is what I call fluff in the skirt. So we already went all the way down through. So now we're going to fluff the skirt. So you just kind of pull up on the hips. Sometimes they'll have a little bit of fur in, that's kind of some dead fur in there. So we're just going to pull that dead fur out and fluff the guy out. I'm going to do it all the way up the belly. Oh, I know. Where's your... Do you have this stick? Oh, no, he does. He doesn't want it. Okay, be calm. I'm gonna let him calm down here for a moment. Sometimes it helps if you just spread your legs a little bit and make like a little cradle for them to rest in. And they don't feel so. He's just done. He's tired of me combing. So we're getting closer. So we're just fluffing the skirt. bringing out his sides, making sure there's no mats underneath here. I mean, we, we comb for show to make them look beautiful because shows are a beauty contest. But realistic, when you have angoras, you need to know, especially if you have angoras with fur this long, you need to know how to comb them. Because, I mean, with this fur that's, light, that's got this length, he will have massive mats if he goes too long without being combed and it's uncomfortable. So his skirt is fluffed. I didn't feel any mats under there. I didn't, it's just going nice and smooth. So now we'll go to the other side, do the same thing. Just lifting up. Again, we're going the same direction of the fur because the fur is up and down basically. We're not going that direction. I will have a third grooming um, demonstration where I'll do like a, just a regular G1 Angora like most of the Angoras that are out there. Most of the Angoras that are out there don't look like this guy. Um, 
it's kind of a combination. The, the, the regular haired Angoras is kind of a combination of how we do the short hair and this guy. So kind of a little bit different for each type. The whole point is, especially for shows, you don't want to pull too much fur out. So you can't be in a rush. Definitely if you're going to a show, you should be pre-grooming. So all of this rough grooming that I'm doing right now um, would already be done. And you're just, at the show, you're just finishing them off, making them look pretty. But I wanted to walk you guys through the whole process. So this is still what we would consider. We're still doing what we would consider a rough groom. And we will finish groom here in just a moment. We're just about done. I just have to finish making sure there's nothing going on underneath here. Make sure he doesn't have any mats. Pulling out all of the dead fur. He's got so much density. It's really beautiful. Okay. I think he's in pretty good shape. So. Now, if we were going to the show, he'd already been rough groomed, we would just go through the process we just did really quickly. And all there should be no mats in there. There should be no... It'll just be lit in all of the dead fur should be out because you rough groom a few days anywhere between a few days and a week before you go. So he's all ready to go. So you would just take your number four comb. You just clean him up a little bit. Make sure that there's, oh, well, he's nice and relaxed now. So, and then now, now that all the dead fur's out, we can go all up his back. Do a real quick over. Make sure we didn't miss anything. There's another little spot right behind his ear. Okay. And then we're gonna take the hacksaw blade and we're going to kind of do the same thing that we just did. So you start here and we're just going to lift just, at, just very, very, very lightly. Just run this all, the direction from t tail to head. You see all the, oh, getting in my mouth. All the loose fur flying everywhere. And then we fluff the skirt with this. And he's going to try and eat it. Don't let him eat it. So we're all that dead fur that's kind of just sitting on the top is coming out. I'm going to do it to the other side. Got to be, oh, no, 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 you cannot have that. Not good for you. I'm going to remove the dead fur off of this side that's sitting on the top. It's okay to really pull it up like that. It's just pulling off the, the ends. Yes, yes, I know. And just keep kind of going back over until the majority of the dead fur is off, and then we'll use the, the lint roller to get the rest. He has incredible density and strength of fur, and his fur is very long on the back even, and it stands up nice and tall, nice and straight. Yeah, very nice fur. Okay, lint roller. Got a big mess going on over here. Oh, before we do the lint roller, I, right when I'm done, I always like to comb, just run the comb through the tail. Just make sure, yeah, he's got no... He's got no little kinks or anything. And he has no yellow tipping on his tail. He is bright white. He is super clear. 
tip, typically they'll have, they can have like little yellowing on the tip. He has, he is very, very clear, bright. This guy's ready to go to nationals. All right, doesn't like that. So now what we're gonna do is wherever he has strong, dense fur, so basically just this part right here on his back, we can actually just lightly run it over. If the roller doesn't want to roll, you can use your thumb. You can see it pulling off. And then you can just dab it. Just pulling the last bit of dead fur. Get a new one, and we're gonna, I know, I know, that's a scary noise. And we're gonna fluff the skirt again with the roller. Make sure you push it down really good so it doesn't get stuck. And we're just gonna, that's pulling a whole bunch of that loose fur that's in there. Off. Reposition him. Gonna tear off another sheet. He's not gonna like it, it scares him. So nice and slow. There we go. That was better. Push it down. Fluff up the skirt. Hair flying everywhere. And then at the very last, I always use the comb again. If I can get all this fur off, I've made a ginormous mess. Okay. Just getting the fur off. I always just use the comb just to kind of perfect up the mane. Make sure everything's just laying nice and quiet. Always have the tines away from his, he does not like this, away from his face. And just kind of smoothing out any spot that looks. Yep. Voila. He is beautiful. Oh, see, I is beautiful. And there you have it. There's our beautiful boy. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them down below. Um, and stay tuned for, we'll have one more grooming demonstration on G1 and some G2 Angoras. And we'll show you how we can combine both techniques that we use for the long haired and the short haired. And he wants to hide in my coat. All right, take care.